Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, today I'm doing a very quick uh, and informal uh, translation type video for you. Um, it's something I've done a few times now that's been quite popular where I found a, um, a video on YouTube um, that's out there in Japanese and I've done my best to translate it so that we can all enjoy and benefit from it. Of course, I'm not a native Japanese speaker, so I might make mistakes. So do forgive me for that. Um, but I will indeed do my best um, to um, bring the sort of content of this video to you. Um, this video that we're looking at today is from the Osaka Kendo Federation, which is written up there. Um, and it is a great one. It says um, it's, it's basically um, about uh, suburi and points um, to consider uh, and also a message um, and basically it's a stability that you can do at home. Um, it's, it's obviously in response to, it says here actually at the start, it's in response to uh, the, the COVID-19 or coronavirus outbreak. Uh, and it's it's from uh, Ishida Kenichi Sensei, um, who's obviously the very famous sensei from uh, former All Japan champion, of course, um, but also very well known from the National Geographic um, Kendo's grueling challenge, as it's called in English, a documentary about the eighth dan exam. Um, so yeah, very very famous uh, sensei, and he's going to teach us all about uh, how we can practice suburi um, and overcome the situation that we're facing um, as kendoka together. Um, the video, as I said, it's put up by the Osaka Kendo Federation. Uh, their channel is down here, uh, Kendo o OSA, Kendo Osa. Um, so yeah, um, you can go and check that out. The original one's in the uh, description below as well. Um, and before we just jump into it, um, of course, don't forget, you know, all the like, share, subscribe sort of thing. I don't need to be pushing that still, do I? <laughs> Um, and uh, of course, if these videos that I bring to you uh, free of charge uh, do <laughs> bring you any value whatsoever, um, then I'd very much appreciate it if you could support us um, by doing your Kendo shopping at kendostar.com. That's my website, of course, that sells fantastic, amazing Kendo equipment. Um, it's a great way to support the channel, but it's also a great way to lay your hands on the best gear in the business. Of course, I would say that, but you don't have to agree with me. You can check out our ratings with a top rated um website on the internet actually um and that's with trustpilot which is a independent reviews aggregate so um yeah uh, you don't have to believe me you can listen to our other customers so with that being said um let's get into this video uh, so he begins with hello um my name is ishida from the osaka uh prefectural kendo federation so uh, obviously this is filmed like at his house um he says uh everybody is um affected by the new um coronavirus uh, situation you can't go to school or do kendo so uh, we're going to use this um, opportunity uh, to review our kihon. Um, it's uh, and turn turn it into a plus uh, is is the goal, obviously, of this video. Let's do our best. So in the, to begin, we'll start with seated subidi uh, with large swings. It says here, sata jōtai de okina subidi. So uh, as you're sat down, uh, large subidi. He's going to describe these points. So. Okay, so he's demonstrating for us, of course. 
So uh, the first point is what he's just said, um, is the points that he wants to consider are uh, when you do the furikaburi, when you raise the, the shinai, um, you shouldn't uh, let the left hand go loose, um, sort of like that, and have the space here. Um, I hope you can see it on the camera. You should keep, keep, keep it like that and not let it go like that. Um, and uh, as much as possible, not use your wrists to move the shinai, but use your... Um, uh, your sh shoulders, um, it says, uh, it, it, it specifically says left shoulder. So not like that, but more like that. So it says from the kamae, from your kamae position, use your left shoulder to just raise. And then he brings it down to make the point of tame, okay? to create tame here. So a feeling of kind of about to strike. So you, this is important. So I like to concentrate. So he's, he's lifting and he's bringing down here. He's not actually making the strike. He's just making that feeling of tame, that feeling of, uh, it, it's hard to describe the, the term tame in English, but that feeling of being ready to make the strike instantly. That's point number two that's on the screen there. So the other op one thing you could do is uh, maybe two or three times you could raise and bring down just to that point and concentrate on the tummy the, again, again. And on the third time, make the strike. So he's, he's kind of focusing on having that kind of feeling here of the built up pressure. It's not tension though. Yeah, it's a, it's more of a, a feeling rather than a physical thing. Yeah. <clears throat> that kind of feeling of the, um, that kind of, like I say, this is really easy to misinterpret as physical tension because it's not. But having the feeling of like a, an elastic band almost that's, that's pulled to extension, ready to bam, to fire um, or a coiled spring. And um, that's the kind of feeling that you're training here. So he does it a couple of times and then on the third time he makes the strike. So there he is demonstrating for us. So this time we're going to look at the large suburi and we're going to break it into four um, parts. So this is the large suburi. Now we're going to split it into four parts. One, it says uh, to uh, furikaburi, so raise. Second, he brings it to the point of, it says, uh, it says, tame no ichi made uh, furi, furi oroshi. So uh, the point of where we're going to hold that tame, feel that tame, we bring it down to there. Point three is from that point of tame, um, tame no ichi kara datotu. So from that point of tame, make to the point of the strike. And then number four, it says the uh, hidari kobushi o sukoshi mae ni das. So um, the left fist uh, is slightly extended forward. Okay, so that's after you make the strike. So one is raise, two bring to the point of tame, three to the point of strike, and four slightly extension Slight more extension with the left uh, left fist. Push the left fist forward a little bit more. There he is demonstrating it. One, raise. Two, down to the point of tummy. Three, to the point of strike. Four is push the left fist forward slightly. 
And now he's going to put it all together. You put it all together, that's what it looks like. So next he's going to demonstrate uh, Renzoku Suburi, so that's repeated Suburi. So now he's been, up to now he's been doing strike, return to Kamae. Now I believe he's going to just do continuous strikes. And this says Kensaki no Sai o Ishikisuru. So it says uh, in the Kensaki or the Kensei, um, uh, constant to think about having Sai. Sai is that snap that you have when you have the really nice strike that's nice and crisp, that pop you get. Um, it's it, it's concentrating on having that, uh, especially in the tip of the sword. So as I say, he's demonstrating this as the repeated strike now. So at the point of striking, he's uh, that that kind of tame that you mentioned. He, he's kind of really stretching out with his left left wrist. So he says he basically. I'm not entirely sure what he means here. I understand the words he's saying, but I'm not entirely sure exactly what he means. But so you lift with the uh, shoulders, and then you return, return to the original position. Um, that's the only real time you 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 strike. You use the wrists. I think he means at the point of extension. Don't worry too much about the words he's saying. Look at the actions that he's doing and copy that. Sorry, I was talking over him talking. <laughs> so he says that um, have to. Concentrate, especially when you're doing subiri, to have the sae, that, that pop, that sharpness. Um, and the, the, when you uh, make your strikes, for example, with men, uh, that comes as well from extending the elbow, the right elbow. And uh, squeezing the shinai <coughs> with your hands, uh, and that will produce sae. <coughs> And that's an important point, and you'd like you to practice that. So next we're going to do small suburi. Okay, so this is a bit different. Normally we normally practice very. Um, normally we practice with uh, large swings <coughs> rather than small ones. Um, and this says, uh, yeah, um, he's going to practice with small uh, suburi. It says that. Um, the the points to uh concentrate on uh so uh when basically the point of the datotsu the strike uh so um the the point of the strike should become the same <coughs> shape as when you did with the large swing <laughs> So first he's going to show the example of what we're trying to do. Like this. <clears throat> now we'll slow it down. This is a slow version. So, 
So basically the strike, this is what I just said, uh, what I just read on the screen there, um, it's the same, the, the, the uh, mechanics, the shape uh, of the actual strike is the same as when you make the large swing. It's the same. So here he is demonstrating it in a dojo uh, and the message on the screen here says uh, that this was filmed uh, So it says this is a uh, this was filmed before the uh, the epidemic pandemic whatever you want to call it the virus before the it just says before the virus So it's stressing that he's not still going to the dojo <laughs> So this says Ashio Tsukete no uh Chi Sai Ash no Dosa to Shinai no Dosa Gai Shoni Narioni. So here it says that uh they're gonna add footwork now. He's gonna add footwork. So this is a small Saburi with the uh with footwork. And the the line there says that the movement of the feet should be timed together uh with the movement of the Shinai. <laughs> So that's what he just said, he just repeated that. So as he swings the shinai and steps forward, the whole movement and completes in one movement. So it's similar to when you do fumikomi, um, but he says he he says you know he's in his house, so he can't really do the proper fumikomi. Um, but when you're doing the fumikomi as well, that the, the it, it should be the same sort of idea. It says here as well, fumikomi ashito ichi wa wari ga ittai suru yoni. So, uh, um, yeah, so ichi sorry suru yoni. Um, so basically. Uh, Sorry, my kanji reason is not up to scratch. Uh, <laughs> so this is the ichi from uh, Kikentai no ichi. That's that's why I read that wrong. Um, so basically, the um, fumikomi and the end of the strike um, should be at about the same time. Um, so you know, it, whether it's suriyashi or fumikomi, the the whole thing should happen together. One more time. Now notice how this isn't something that Sensei's talked about or is written on the video at all, but his his feet move together. All right. So I've had a few questions about some of the Sabiri videos that I've put out, and I'm going to address them actually in another video. But um, about how uh, you know why do we you know because we've been doing the basic Sabiri where uh, you raise as your right foot comes out and cut as the left foot comes in. Why are we cutting on the back foot when most of the time we cut on the front foot, especially with Fumikomi? Uh, but it's a misconception that you cut on the front foot. When you do Fumikomi, or actually really when you do Suriyashi, both your feet should move together. Of course, one's going to arrive first because they're uh, one's in front of the other. But if you watch Sensei here, his right foot and left foot move together like that. Yeah, obviously they can't move like that. He's not floating or something, right? <laughs> yeah, but the feeling is, is that they move together. So his cut happens now, yeah? This way, not now, this way, yeah? So it's not that he's cutting on the front foot, it's cutting as his feet move together. Um, and that's something that is, like I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna address um, in, a, in another Subiri video uh, as soon as I can. You see that? You watch, if you watch him as an example, uh, you can see. <laughs> Dude, this is a really good shot actually of it. Again, the message says that this was shot before the virus. Yeah, so the feet come together. It's not cutting on the front foot, it's cutting with the feet.
This is the same idea, but with Fumikomi. As he said before, he couldn't really demonstrate this uh, in his house. So uh, this is a message now. Uh, so that's his, his finished teaching of Suburi, but he's got a, a message uh, for uh, for us. So uh, Kendo is a um, activity um, where we uh, take a shinai and uh, face an opponent. Um, and it's a, a terrible thing. Uh, th this means grave injury, actually, but um, it, it doesn't mean it in a literal sense. Uh, <laughs> um, if, if you're not able to um, swing the shinai, it's a it's, it's terrible uh, situation. So in this uh, time, whilst uh, there's lots of um, like breaks or where we can't go to the dojo, um, uh, he'd like it if we could train ourselves um, with um, diligent practice of sabiri. Uh, and obviously from now, um, everybody has a, uh, life is long, um, and within that there's, um, difficulties and not very nice things, uh, that we have to experience. Um, however, um, those difficult or horrible things, uh, as horrible as they are, um, they give us the opportunity uh, to improve ourselves. Um, he'd like it if we could turn this negative as much as possible into a positive. Uh, and uh, what did it say? Uh, <laughs> from uh, going forward, uh, do our best uh, to well work work hard. しっかり頑張っていただきたいと思います。今は新型コロナに負けないように頑張ってください。皆さんの頑張りを記念します。So um, uh, this says, uh, let's do our best to beat the virus, um, not lose to it. Uh, and he uh, prays and hopes uh, for everybody's uh, endurance. <laughs> uh, I think that's the end. That's the end. So, uh, good. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed. I hope you found it useful. Um, I did my best to translate, like I say on the fly. I'm certainly not a native Japanese speaker. Uh, kanji as well. Reading kanji is not my uh, forte, shall we say. Um, but um, I think we got through it. I think we got um, the most, uh, most of the points that Sensei wanted to communicate to us. Um, so, yeah, that was really, really interesting. Um, and I really enjoyed um learning from it. I definitely picked up a few things for myself. Uh, there's been a few videos I've done now as well. Um, talking about Suburi with different senseis that have, that have taught Suburi as well, not just my, my own sort of thoughts on it, um, which I've really drawn from. So I think I'm going to put together another Suburi video, um, very soon, uh, and maybe incorporate some of those things as well. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, don't forget, you know, the like, share, subscribe stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, shop at Kendo Star. Keep us going. <laughs> Thanks for watching today and I'll see you all in the next video.